non example of that is playing video games and not helping out uh, any people, anybody in society, anything like that. Uh, a good example of investing yourself is helping an old lady across the street. All right, another example is write stuff that you learn in your own words, put in a baseball journal, read it a few, day, a few days a week. That I promise, big leaguers, I know for a fact, all right, they have journals, they, they take notes, they study. This doesn't happen by accident. I encourage you, anything that you learn that you think is going to make you better, write it down. plays in a second but real quick to add to that again I'm a junior college head coach and and that's why even though I'm at a junior college um, of all the 20 recruits I got so far signed right now all of them except one have over 3-0 I still want to get excellent students why presumption becomes reality at some point whether you know what that means or not so let's say uh, he has a 3.5 high school GPA what does that without knowing him but the fact that I'm basing it off his GPA, what's the perception? Well, what what do I think the type of person he is? He has a 3.5 GPA in high school. He dedicates himself to the classroom. He takes it seriously. He's obviously intelligent. Doesn't need hand holding. Why, why are those things important to me? He obviously picks things up quickly. Those things are important to me because those tend to translate to on the field. I can't spend when I'm working with 35 guys, I can't spend 25 minutes with them and neglect the rest of the team. I can't. You, I'm going to tell you a drill. Here's why it's going to make you great. Here's how to execute it. Any questions? All right, let's go. And you need to get it now. You know, especially the simple stuff. Because, like he said, if you take the time to write down everything you learn new, you're going to have the blueprint. And then... That, uh, that's why I tell players and parents, you're not going to become great because of me. I can give you great information that I take from big leaguers and big league coaches as I work with and everybody, and, and I've been very fortunate to learn from some great, smart people. All right? I'm just smart enough to shut my mouth, write stuff down, and teach it to you. Okay? And now it's what you do with that information, and that's why you're going to be great. Not because of me. Because of what you do with that information. Okay? So, uh, Coach, you want to talk uh, uh, quick about, we got about five minutes. Um, I'll start at second base. All right. Um, Make sure you guys can listen. The turn from second base, um, it used to be kind of, could be scary, when, you know, especially at my level, when you guys could barrel down and, like, not really left, so, uh, But even though, you know, guys have to tag into the, you know, slide into the base now, still need to be able to, you know, make this exchange. It's quick. We're trying to get two outs here. And we're to find it. So I want to be, when I get to the back as a second baseman, I want to make sure I get to the back, back into the back, <clears throat> next side of the back in an athletic position in my left foot. Okay? Now I'm here and I want to make sure that I'm giving my, my guy a charge. Okay? And I always want to keep my palms up. Okay? I want to keep my palms up. And I'm in an athletic position. Now, when I see the ball, I'm going to beat the ball. If the ball's thrown right at me, I'm just going to take my right foot to the ball. Wherever the ball takes me, that's where my right foot's going to go. So if it's a throw here, boom, I'm going to ask the ball is hitting my glove, my right foot is 
plant. Wherever it is. It's here. Boom. Same thing. Here. Boom. Right? So step to the bar, step the bar on my right foot. And I also I want to make sure that I try to catch every ball to the best of my ability on the right side. Right? That's where I'm throwing from, right? Right here, right? So, step into the ball, catching the ball on my right side. Now, the transfer, right? I see a lot of, the young players, I see a lot of extra, extra movement, right? We don't have time for that. So if I catch the ball here where I'm supposed to be, my transfer is really simple. It's, it's a quarter turn. That's it. I catch that ball, boom, it's a quarter turn. My hand's right here, it's a quarter turn. And that's why, real quick, that's why Coach is showing you two hands. Not because he can't catch with one. I'm sure he, he can catch the ball with one hand. Sure, sure. It's the quick exchange. Get it out. I don't want to catch the ball here and have to drag it back here. Or even if I catch it here. I hold up. I got to be right here. For a turn. We're getting rid of it. Basically, when he does at his level, he really stops the ball. Yeah, it's not a hold. It's not a catch. It's not a catch. It's yeah. stop and it transfers. It's a good quick stop here. And, I'm trying, and one of the things too with the footwork, guys, is that you're going to, to help use your legs so that you're not using your arms. When you plant this foot, if you notice my foot, it's I don't come across and I'm like this. When I come across, that thing gets hit like this with some spring. So that when I hit this, quickly, that way. Right? You have some spring. I can't do that if I come across like this. And I'm flat with it. And once again with this leg, I want to make sure that I turn this knee out. Like I said, now guys have to slide into the base. So you should be safe if you clear yourself one way or the other. But you might have a jerk that comes through and you might want to slide into it. My leg's this way. That's a knee safe. It's this way. I just follow it down. That's it. That's why we do it. Ooh, great point. That's something I teach all my guys. Because like Coach said, um, when your toes are facing first base and you feel the guy, you're going to feel him. Your, your instincts are going to take over. You're going to go right over the top. You're here, you're grounded, and you're stuck, and you're tearing something. Right. You can't move. So it's all about being staying athletic and keeping yourself in the Hey, write that stuff down. Awesome job, fellas. Very, very good. Good luck this weekend. Unless you're playing against me, bad luck. Uh, and let's ask oh, questions. Yeah, questions, questions, questions. Ask people who ask questions. Or if you see me or something like that. Yeah. 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 Yeah.